teacher, she made Arts Intensive Week. Miss Lynn, what inspired you to create Arts Intensive Week? Oh, I was meeting with Miss Farrell and we had um, an idea that at the end of trimester, because we've now gone to trimesters, that we would have a week that would just be all arts. And so we invited people, artists, teaching artists from all over Rhode Island to come in and um, work with four different groups. So um, that was our uh, spoken word. Um, we have Evans Molina Fernandez, who is teaching painting and salsa. We have a dance troupe from Tapa. And we have Katie Reeves teaching filmmaking. And um, I just think it's really important that the girls get exposure to all the different arts. We have visual art uh, integrated into our curriculum, but this is our chance for the girls to be exposed to all the things that are available to them in the community. Kashmir, she's part of the sixth grade. She's from the dance group. Kashmir, what inspired you to do dancing? Um, I dance at home a lot, and I'm bad at it, but I laugh when I'm bad at it because it's funny. And yeah. um, what dance are you working on right now, and is it hard to learn? African and Latin American dances. And um, it's hard but easy at the same time because the only thing I can't do is this, but I could do this. This is Raylan, she's part of the sixth grade. She's from Spoken Words Group. Raylan, what inspired you to do the workshop? Um, I guess it's really fun and I, I wasn't too excited about it at first, but like when I first learned like what we were gonna be doing and what type of poems we were gonna be doing. I guess that was like the most, like, I guess that was the most, that was the best thing, that was the most inspiring one. And what is spoken words? Oh, um, it's, it's poetry and basically we learn how to like rhyme words. We learn about like all, like a, a poet's toolbox, which like what we need to write a poem. We need ideas. We need the knowledge to do it. We need the confidence to do it, actually. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, the best interview I had today. She is from the eighth grade art group. Annalise, what are you doing in the art group? Okay, so right now in the art group, we were doing dramatic paintings. So I decided to cover my hands in paint and then put my handprints on it and then splatter paint with my fingers on it. Why did you want to do that? Um, because I like splattering paint and I like having my handprints on everything. <laughs> And it is just such a powerful medium. Now, because it's so powerful, we have to be really careful, right? We have to be careful with the stories that we tell. We have to be very careful with the truth that we tell. But in using film, which has everything in it, film has visual art, film has music, film has the story, the written world, written word, excuse me. Film also has, uh, it's the arts, right? It also has technology, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's really high tech. Film has everything. There is something for everyone in film. It is powerful, and the final product is one of the most amazing things you can experience because you don't experience film alone, right? You're in community with people in a theater. So you're in community to watch this film so it even encourages this kind of shared experience. I just go bonkers about film. I love film.